Hi guys, Fred here, back again, AF Math and Engineering. We are, I believe it's the fourth part of our series on torsion and indeterminate problems, okay? Uh, this is the last part of the question, and this is kind of uh, utilizing all the answers that we've got so far, and checking whether or not the, the numbers that we, that we obtained, and the this, this, this stresses that the shaft are, you know, under right now are, are safe or not, okay? And that's a big part of obviously civil engineering. That's, that's what we do, right? We check whether or not structures and, and things that are under stresses and loads and strains are safe, okay? So, let's begin. The question is asking us, if the max stress and rotation in the brass shaft is 120 megapascals and 0 0.01 radian, and 160 MPa and 0 0.03 radian in the Minel shaft, that should be, sorry about that. Is the shaft safe? And we, we're asked also to find the factor of safety. Okay, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to refer back to the first part of the question, and we're gonna look at the shear stresses in the shaft AB and the shaft BC. Okay, and we're going to take those over here. So, tau AB we found to be 8.2 MPa, okay? Tau BC we found to be 7.36 MPa. All right, and what did we find for the angle of twist of both sections? Well, as we discussed before in that little theoretical question that I gave you, uh, they're going to be opposite directions, but they're going to be the same value, and they have to be in order for us to solve a problem like this. Okay, so we found B with respect to A and theta C with respect to B to be those values. Okay, so how do we determine whether or not the shaft's safe? We can determine that directly from finding the factor of safety for each section in both shear and in twist. So let's start with shear and let's start with section AB. So what is the maximum stress the brass shaft can take? Well, it's 120 megapascals as given in the question. So the factor of safety of anything that you're doing, okay, is equal to the allowable over the actual. So what that means is it's, the, it's the, the stress that the shaft or whatever load or anything that you're doing can take, and the actual is the stress that you are, that the shaft is experiencing, okay? So in this case, the shaft is experiencing a, she a shear stress of 8.2 megapascals, all right? And that's gonna be our actual. So 120, and this is a unitless value, the factor of safety, because it's the same units divided by each other. Okay, and what does that give us? Well, that gives us 14.63 as our factor of safety. Now, as a general rule for the factor of safety, if the factor of safety is greater than one, it is safe, okay? But, you know, 1.5 or 1.2, 1.1, it's safe, but there's not a lot of margin of error for that safety. So if, if, if the load, maximum load is even exceeded a little bit, okay, it's going to break. So a higher factor of safety is, is better in terms of safety. Okay, a factor of safety, and that's actually n equal to one. A factor of safety less than one is unsafe, okay? And essentially that means that the actual is larger than the allowable, so we're getting a decimal. And that's not okay, obviously. Okay, so this is greater than one, it's safe, cool. Moving on. We'll do BC now, okay? Sorry about that, I'll just go over here. Uh, what's the 160 MPa, okay? Over the actual 7.36 MPa, cancel those units. What's the factor of safety in shear for the second section? Well, that is 21.7, which is actually very high. Okay, and that's safe. So the shaft is safe in safe in shear. However, if the shaft the, the shaft is safe in shear, 
but unsafe in the angle of twist, it doesn't matter that it can resist the shear stress. It matters that it can resist both the shear stress and the angle of twist. If in any section the shaft fails in either shear or in twist, the shaft is unsafe, okay? And that's what the question is asking. So let's double check the factor of safety. We'll put AB here, B, C, okay? Factor of safety, and this is for our tau, and this is for our theta, okay? And now let's look at our theta. Okay, what is the allowable radian? 0 0.01 for the angle of twist for section AB. And what did we calculate? Well, we found it to be 0. Point, and don't worry about the negative sign. We're concerned with absolute value here, okay? And we find the factor of safety to be 10.2, okay? Which is safe. Let's do the factor of safety of section BC with respect to the angle of twist. Okay, we have 0 0.03 as in allowable twisting, and as we discussed before, the angle of twist is going to be the same in both sections, and we're going to get a factor of safety of 30.5, okay? Very safe. Never be too safe. All right, and so what, what does this mean? Well, all of our factor of safeties in twist and shear are all above one, which means the shaft is safe. All right, and that concludes our section on uh, this particular kind of indeterminate problem. Um, you know, wrapping up what we learned, uh, we went over maximum shearing stress in each of the shafts, we went over the angle of rotation in each of the shafts, and we determined whether or not the shaft was safe. This is a perfect, perfect exam problem, guys. You should really, uh, you should really study uh, a lot of problems like this. Try and go over this problem, solve it while pausing it, uh, make sure you get it 100%, understand the concepts and the tricks involved that I've explained here. and. Uh, you know what, you should be fine for your exam and anything your professor throws at you. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Uh, and we'll go into this, some more indeterminate problems uh, in other videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.